one of these things. It's loose. Um, so what we're gonna do um, is take a look at this package that I got, uh, that I bought off eBay, and I know I just recently did um, a comic book haul video, uh, I guess a month, month and a half ago or something like this, where I bought a bunch of comics uh, during my Bill Hicks break. Um, and I wasn't gonna buy any more books off eBay, but um, this seller was selling a whole bunch of books that I really wanted to get. And basically the majority of these books, all of these books are Valiant books. They're all Valiant books. And if you've watched my comic book videos, you'll know uh, once uh, I realized that Valiant had done a relaunch in 2012 and started reading some of their books, I started back collecting. I really, they, they blew me away with what they were putting out. So I've been, in the last two years or so, I guess it's two, two and a half years now, um, almost coming on three years, maybe even more, I don't know. I've been collecting, accumulating Valiants because I think they're amazing. Um, and they're, some of the books are incredibly low print run. And from all the previous Valiant comic book haul videos um, we've gotten, I think um, there's only one comic book haul video that I had that I showed, which was one of the first ones we did, where I actually have Quantum and Woody comics in this. And this package includes almost all of Quantum and Woody. Okay, almost all of it. So we're gonna crack it open and there were supposedly in, you know the books the books were supposed to be in mint, near mint condition. But this package, you know, came to me damaged. And usually I'm, you know, I talk about the packaging and stuff like this in the comic book haul video, but I'm not gonna do it in this one. Um, I put out another short little video regarding the packaging because this came to me through eBay's global shipping program. Um, the seller was in the United States, I'm in Canada. And um, in that short video, I sort of, giving everyone's a head, everyone a heads up not to use eBay's global shipping program. It's a scam. Uh, you're paying extra and obviously, obviously they're not packing, packaging this up nicely. Uh, and I'm not gonna buy from anyone again that uses their services and the company that the eBay shipping program is listed under is uh, Pitney Bowes Incorporated. So people, sellers who are selling on eBay, they ship to them in Kentucky and they're supposed to package it up nicely and ship it to you and obviously they haven't. Um, and they cost a lot of money, uh, way too much money, okay. And if you wanna know more, you know, take a look at that video. So let me show you what the package of this looks like. All they've done, I mean, it's not even full of this bubble this foamy stuff, right? The top part is missing. So I'm hoping the more expensive books were lower down. And I'm pretty sure this package would have been flipped. So I'm not sure what kind of condition these are. And you can tell, you know, it's been banged around a little bit, right? Take a look at that. Okay. I'm happy to get these books. Hopefully they're in as close to original condition as possible. I'm nervous about it. Like they didn't even change the box because the box has the name of the uh, person that sent it to me. Okay. So I'm not sure what this eBay global shipping program is supposed to do. Let's take a look at this. Okay, let me put the rest of this guy here. And this is, you know, there's another bag down below this. But let's take a look at these ones for now. I just want to check the corner, see how badly. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit, but 
it's not as bad as it looked from the outside. So let me, let me show you, let me tell you what I ended up getting. Okay. And this is, this box, there is, uh, there's 93 books. Okay. 93 books, all of them Valiants. And uh, hopefully they're in order. Okay, they are in order. So what we're going to do is, um, I'm just going to show you, uh, tell you what they are. Okay. And uh, I'll check these later myself because I want to sit down at a table if they're in mint condition. I want to keep them in mint condition. Um, and I'm going to be checking a few of these because um, the box, the package was damaged, right? I want to make sure it's all okay. Uh, so let me show you. This is, uh, it seems to be in order. So I'm going to tell you what they are, what each lot was. Uh, and give you the prices for them. And um, again, with um, the comic book haul videos, I haven't, I don't know if I've done this with all of them, um, but I'm going to tell you what the what the price was, how many books in each lot, and per unit cost. So the total package um, was 93 bucks. Okay, all of them from the Valiant relaunch from 2012. Um, there's 93 bucks, not including shipping. All of them, they cost me $188.72. So uh, basically, you know, if you divide 188.72 by 93, you get per unit cost. And they cost me $2.03 per unit per book. If you include shipping, the total package, including shipping, cost me $238 uh, for 93 books. So it ended up costing me uh, $2.56 per unit per book. So the shipping cost me 53 cents extra per book, okay? So we went from $2, $2.03 to $2.56. So one of the lots I ended up buying, let me find it uh, here. I just printed them all off in a sheet. I haven't put them in a spreadsheet yet, but you will see them in a spreadsheet. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Where is it? Is it down here? Delinquents got to me. Got to me. Uh, this? Oh, there it is. This is the big lot. Um, so, one, the books that came with this lot, okay, it's, there was 21 books, okay, and there were the mini series from Valiant. And so 21 books, they cost me uh, $14.99. So for these books I'm about to show you, there are all the mini series. There's 21 books, cost me $14.99, which is $15. So it cost me, dollar, uh, cost me 71 cents per book. Okay. And they include uh, the first Dr. Mirage series. And... Well, the both Dr. Mirage series, um, you know what? I can't remember. I read the first one, but I can't remember if it's, uh, I think it's the five issue one. But here's uh, this one. And I really liked it. The Dr. Mirage, the first series that I read. Number two. Here's number three. And they look to be, they look to be really good condition. Uh, even though the box was damaged, a little bit of denting on the boards. If they weren't in the boards, wow, I don't even know what the books would be like. Okay. And here's number five. And this is a story with, uh, well, I'm going to give you some spoilers, but this is uh, Dr. Mirage. And uh, that's his partner that was uh, sort of stuck in another realm. Uh, and then this is the Dr. Mirage second. This is the second series, and it's a four issue mini series. And I didn't, I haven't read this one yet, so I might uh, read this one. This one's got a. Okay, that's number one. Here's number two. Okay. Here's number three. 
Here's number four. Okay. So Dr. Mirage, it included. It included, I see, put them in order. Dead Drop. Okay, here's number one. I haven't read this uh, miniseries. Uh, I picked it up, but I didn't read it, but people didn't like it. Uh, consensus is this isn't a very good mini because it was supposed to be sort of chaotic. Here's number three. And here's number four. Beautiful cover. Okay. Here's... Uh, oh, this one is a different lot. Let me put this one over here. Uh, Britannia. And as you know, I've already picked up Britannia. And this is one of the best reads of 2000 and, um, 2016. It was fantastic. If you want an amazing detective Roman timepiece, for sure read this. Amazing, amazing, amazing storytelling. Right, Peter Milligan and Jose, uh, Juan Jose, Europe, amazing art, and the other one that I've read is uh, Savage, and you know I already picked this one up as well. And again, one of the one of the best books uh, to come out. I'm just checking the edges just to see how. I'm surprised it's not as uh, the books are as damaged as they seemed before I cracked it open. I was nervous, very very nervous. There's Savage number four, beautiful. And uh, there's Dead Drop. And then there is, um, so that should have been 21 bucks. Let's check that. I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so 21 books. Those books are there. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, the other lot that I bought was uh, a Book of Death uh, miniseries. And I've read Book of Death. This, this was absolutely brilliant to me. Uh, the Book of Death um it kicks into here's number one okay and this is the regular cover and book of death uh after the four issue it kicked into wrath of the eternal warrior so book of death one to four is really the prequel to wrath of the eternal warrior as far as i'm concerned it's a must read before reading wrath of the eternal warrior and uh the reason i bought this is because it had book of death the interlocking covers and I don't have these ones okay Let's see. Robert Vendy Robert Gill I don't know what the cover artist is for this but it's got all four interlocking covers which is fantastic and the book of death the one shots that came out I've mentioned this before uh, there was four one shots uh, it was fall of harbinger fall of bloodshot fall of ninja i can follow xo um fall of xo was okay fall of ninja was really really good fantastic right uh, but for me the fall of harbinger and fall of bloodshot were outstanding they were two of the best one shots i've ever read in my comic book reading uh, life right okay here's another package okay this one see the edges the plastic is not damaged there's a little bit of a hole there but i think that's just a hole from the package so the edges of the top bag uh, of the books boards saved much of the damage and I'm glad that these weren't the 
the top books weren't the Quantum and Woody stuff because uh, it's mainly because of Quantum Woody I ended up buying all the other Valiants from him uh, because I really wanted the Quantum and Woody I don't I have some of the Quantum and Woody uh, especially uh, the ones from the relaunch but I didn't have uh, Quantum and Woody from the 1990s uh, the first volume and let's see what are these ones oh Quantum and Woody yes nice <laughs> and just a heads up um, from what we understand from the latest news is uh, Quantum and Woody is I think it's they're trying to make it a TV series or a movie. Uh, I don't, you know, who knows if it's ever going to come through. But let me move these guys over here. Make some room. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, supposedly, uh, or supposedly. Uh, Quantum of Woody is going to be turned into a TV series and if it is it's amazing uh, it's one of the best next to like two of the funniest uh, comic book series stories you can read that I've ever read is Archer and Armstrong which is absolutely brilliant the 2012 Archer and Armstrong series is one of the greatest series ever written um, so it's really funny it's a fantastic world they've created and what I've read of Quantum and Woody is absolutely brilliant. Okay, so this one is, let's take a look. Is this the first series? I think so. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. So this one is, this was the most expensive because uh, I believe it's the first appearance of Quantum Woody. For some reason, I've. Uh, you checked on Quantum Woody and some places are listing the first appearance of Quantum Woody as um, it's a different book but from what I understand that's the reprint of the first four issues of this uh, if someone knows more about this and I'm gonna look a little bit further into this sorry I haven't looked into this a little bit further but I wanted to crack this open uh, because of uh, 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 the damage to the box, right? But from what I understand, this might be the first appearance of Quantum and Woody, and it's uh, Priest, Bride, and Adams. And this one is not in the greatest shape. I'm gonna crack this open. Let's check it out. Um, so this is 23 bucks. Uh, the title was this uh, was. Uh, Quantum Woody Volume One Complete Run, uh, plus the goat, uh, the goat issue, and it says it's from number one to thirty-two, and I didn't know this, but thirty-two was misnumbering. It's supposed to be actually twenty-three. I don't know if they did that on purpose or. Here is uh, this is what I'm cranking over right now, uh, Quantum Woody Number One, and it's got a little bit of. Uh, crease mark here and um, he listed these books as being in very fine to near mint condition okay everything was basically very fine to near mint condition and let me crack this open and this was by far the most expensive now is this going to be in very fine condition so <laughs> this came out in 1997 I wouldn't say uh, it could be very fine I mean, let me show you this I'm not sure if you can see that it's got let's see if we can get the reflection going see that little uh, what do you call it the creases there the marks there uh, I would rate this I would give this a seven right if it was a numbering system because I don't I like numbering it, I'm a math guy. 
and you can see some of the stress marks there in the in the thing so i would give this a seven seven point five eight maybe okay as long as the rest of them are more near mint i'm okay with this <laughs> this is the first page i can't wait to read this i haven't read this okay i read volume two the one that was a 12 issue run uh, actually i'm missing i haven't read all of it I've, this looks amazing oh this looks fantastic look at this look at that Red. oh so good and i guess this is a claim is it yeah this is a claim this is the acclaim series I realized it was a claim as soon as you saw it the advertisement. Take a look at this advertisement works. So, the claim, right? Wow. Nice. Okay. And this is uh, Christopher Priest, and this is supposed to be an amazing series. So that's number one. Okay. Uh, let me show you the rest of them. Team Quantum Witty 1997 acclaim, right? That's number one. Here's number two. Introducing the goat. And these look like to be in really good condition. These are nice copies. This goat is awesome. Really. It's like, what? How could you introduce a goat? Number four. Number five. Number six. Warrant, the murderous master of quantum energy. Quantum energy. Wow. Really? I don't know this. Got so much reading to do. Here's number seven. Oh yeah, I should tell you. I don't know if I told you how much this cost me. This one cost me, the 23 bucks cost $102.50. Okay. And I ended up buying these. I don't know if I bought them. Here's number nine. Bought them before the announcements that Quantum Woody, because it took a while for this thing to come. I think it was after the announcement for that Quantum Woody is, uh, has been um, not licensed. What's it called when they get a writer on it? Here's number 10. Uh, but basically cost me, 23 bucks cost me $102.50. Uh, or it could be 24 bucks, including the goat, I don't know. Uh, so it ended up being this is by far the more expensive lot uh ended up costing 446 per issue which is basically i basically paid cover price per issue cover price actually um yeah in canada it was well actually this would be us so i paid um two dollars more per issue than what the cover price would have been if i bought them off the bat uh in 1997 but i wasn't uh I don't think I was buying books back then. Okay. That's cool. Who is this guy? I don't know. It doesn't say. <laughs> the big payback. Really? Here's number 14. Number 15. Seventeen. Number 
back to regular numbering. <laughs> I don't know what this is. No force for. No, I guess they called it back magnum force number four. I don't know, number 18. Back to regular numbering. This is it up top here. Two girls, a goat, a guy, and a pizza. Sounds like a fantastic story. That's what it says above it. Read that. <laughs> right. uh, two girls, a goat, a guy, and a pizza. Life is sweet. Beware of the dark kitty meow. Who's this guy? Woody. Dark kitty. Number nine. So this is number 20. I don't know what the number nine stands beside it, the dark kitty. Uh, Quantum Woody number 21. Quantum Unleash, Unleashed. Watch out. So that's 21. Here's 32. Eclipse, part three of four. Part three of four. <laughs> Where's part four? This is the last of the regular issues, right? Regular series. And then here's the goat issue. Heavy armored espionage deadly uber sheep. The goat. This is proof off the Beatles cover, right? Who's barefoot? This guy's barefoot. Right? Cool. Awesome. And these look to be great condition. So it's just number one. Uh, I should have to look at number 20 or 32. Yeah, 32 has a little bit of scuff. I don't know if you can see, like, the black. Usually black covers are... They get damaged first uh, for comic books. A little bit of white dots on there. Okay. So I guess this wasn't 23 bucks. It was, um, hold on a second, that was 21, 22. Yeah, I guess 32 should have been 22, not 32. And yeah, it is 23 bucks. Okay. So 23 bucks, $102.50. And it cost me four forty six. And the people that were bidding on this, uh, they have uh, they were basically resellers. They, uh, you know, they were into the hundreds and thousands uh, with their with their ranking, okay, with their feedback. So here's another package. It's not bad. A little bit of you know plastic tear there, but nothing like the top one. Very glad that it was all the minis that were on top. Let's take a look at this one. So this lot, the Quantum Woody lot with the 23 bucks, really kicked up the price per unit for this whole package, right? Otherwise, uh, the cost would have been like dollar, dollar something, right? one is uh, the return of quantum woody okay and this is a pre-relaunch I believe should be anyway um, details votes where is it return of quantum woody so there's five books in this one and this lot cost me Six ninety nine, so it cost me dollar forty, not including shipping, right? And shipping kicked up the price 50, 53 cents per buck, right? And uh, this one looks to be beautiful condition. Take a look. That's the number one. <coughs> number two. Number 
three. Still the world's worst superheroes. And this is Priest writing this again. Priest Bright uh, is the same team as the first series. Well, Priest was writing the first series, but I think the artist changed up. Here's number three. Here's number four. And here's number five. Okay. Nice. I haven't read this one either. Okay. So this one cost me seven bucks, five bucks, dollar forty a pop. The next quantum woody lot is the one that I've read almost all of it. Ah, oh, sweet. And what's this one? Okay, let's see. So the next one is uh, the Quantum and Woody number one to twelve plus the zero goat issue. Okay. And I think a lot of people got introduced to Quantum and Woody through this one. This is such a fun read. And is that Priest? No, this is a different writer. James uh, Osmos, Tom uh, Fowler, Jordi Belair. Okay. So Quantum Woody number one. Quantum Woody number two. Quantum Woody number three. <laughs> I've read that. So I know what was going on in, I don't know per issue, but I know the story that's covered in these. So funny. <laughs> this one. So funny. So funny. Such a, I would, I would love to see this uh, come to life, like a TV series or a movie. Uh, but I still wouldn't be disappointed if it doesn't. Uh, this is one of the best humor. Take a look at this one. He's shooting. <laughs> He's got some amazing, amazing moments in the series where you're, you're just like, wow, right? So it's humor, but it's got some powerful moments. Cylinders. It got some amazing reviews. This is the front part of the back. <laughs> and the goats in, in this again, right? So funny. So funny. I've read number seven. I don't think I've read number eight. So I got six more issues to read in the series. I'll read number seven again, that's for sure. Uh, number eight. remind myself what was going on here's the goat issue i've read this one too goat zero i'm pretty sure i've read this one i'll have to flip through it just to make sure um and then i'm not sure if you put the the zero issue between number eight and nine because it came out during that time but i'm gonna leave it there number nine number ten and this is a cover tribute to Reservoir Dogs, I believe. Okay. Quentin Tarantino was Reservoir Dogs. And I saw Reservoir Dogs when it came out in the theaters uh, right off the bat at university in a small little theater. Poof, blew me away, as it did everyone else, right? If you've never seen Reservoir Dogs, highly recommend it. Very violent. Uh, not really Quantum Woody-esque. It does have funny parts to it too. This is number 11. Here's number 12. Here's number, uh, I don't know what number this is. Quantum Woody. This is, um, Sort of uh, like the cover of Divine and uh, from Image Comics. I forget what the name is. I'm not reading it. I just seen it. People do rave about it. It's supposed to be a good series. Uh, I don't know if this 
before that or after that? I don't know what this, this is. So quantum and Woody. Uh, I didn't print a picture, so I'm not sure if this is with this one. It's a different writer. Hmm. Cool. So that's there. And this one, uh, which one was this? This is the uh, Quantum Buddhi uh, 1 to 12 plus the Goat issue is 13 bucks. The one that I just showed you. So 13 bucks together cost me 16.49, right? So it cost me dollar um, twenty seven per book, not including shipping, right? So remember, including shipping, shipping was adding fifty three cents per book. This is the last one. Let's see what's in this one. Well, I should know what's in this one. I bought it. So this one, see, it's plastic on the edges. The bag is not damaged, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Definitely positive. So another uh, Quantum Woody lot that I bought was uh, Quantum Woody Must Die, number one to four. So there's four books in this lot, uh, and it cost me eight forty nine. So it cost me two twelve a pop. Okay, James uh, Osmos again. Are we nominated best new writer? Back at it again. So this is after the 12 issue run that we just saw. Okay. This is the new Valiant relaunch. Let's put this here. Here's number two. This is a four issue miniseries. Here's number three. Here's number four. I don't know if I got this one. I don't know why, but for some reason I think I missed this series. So I'm really happy to get these. And they look to be amazing condition. Yeah, they look great. Uh, another Quantum of Woody is uh, the, link, the delinquents that they crossed over with Archer and Armstrong. <laughs> and I do have this series, but I haven't read it. Uh, look. Also, this is like for Valiant fans, uh, all Valiants, almost every Valiant person I've talked to, they love Archer Armstrong, they love Quantum and Woody. So this was like a feast, like it was, it, it was a delight, right? Everyone's raves about it, I haven't read it yet. I can't wait to read it. So that's number one. Here's number two. <laughs> I'll just look at the covers and laughing. Sorry. Here's number three. <laughs> He's running. He's got drinks in his hand. He's got his bag of food and drink. Now this is number four. And uh, Quantum Woody Must Die. Four issues, 849, uh, 212 per issue, not including shipping. The last slot, and this should be the last slot, is 18 books total. It cost me 2128, so it came out to $1.18 per book. And it's the armor hunter 
Hunter's Complete Interlocking Covers Variant XO Unity. So it's got, it's a whole bunch of stuff. It's Armor Hunters, the interlocking covers, and Armor Hunters was a fantastic crossover event. And it was a great mini series on its own, and the crossovers with Harbinger and you know XO and all the other stuff was a really really phenomenal read. Um, so here's uh, Armor Hunters number one. These are the interlocking covers. Here, let me show you how they interlock. <laughs> let me put this down here. Take a look. Here's number two, right? And then I think they connect up like this, right? Yeah. So that, I don't know if I can do it justice in the video. And then there's two more, right? So here's number two. Here's number three. number four and then there's the armor hunters bloodshot number one I guess I should hold this up so here's armor hunters bloodshot number two with hard corpse and What a great series, the Armor Hunters. They were all business. Here's number three. Very important event for the Valiant Universe. Here's number one. This is um, Armor Hunters Harbinger, number one. This was the one, um, just spoiler, I think it's uh, Mexico, Mexico City. Here's number two. And these look to be mint condition. Here's number three. And they're all interlocking covers. Awesome. Here's number, that was Harbinger. Here's Unity. So I should tell you what's included in this. Uh, in this lot, which is the 18 bucks, $228, dollar 18 per pop. Uh, it's Armor Hunters number 1 to 4, Unity 8 to 11, Exo Mana War 26 to 29, Armor Hunters Harbinger 1 to 3, Armor Hunters Bloodshot 1 to 3. So here's the Unity number 8, and again, they're the interlocking covers. Here's number 9. Here's number 10. Here's number 11. Here's number 26. Here's number 27. Here's number 28. So um, I'm pretty happy with this buy, very happy with this buy uh, for the Quantum Woody. Um, I'm happy with the books. I'm sad that, you know, it ended up costing me extra and that the package didn't arrive to me safe. And, you know, there was a little bit of minor damage on some of the books, but it is what it is, right? Uh, lesson learned, won't be buying from eBay Global Shipping again, anyone that's selling with them, uh, unless they take it off right off the bat you know i don't want my the comics to go to kentucky and then to me through these guys these guys are a scam uh, i'm definitely going to leave the leave the seller positive feedback um i might leave the shipping part just empty not give him five stars not give him one i'm just going to leave it blank i don't want him to get dinged for it i wish i could ding these guys um and i'm going to let the guy know um I'll send him a picture or two of the package because I took <laughs> pictures of the box beforehand that I wasn't sure what to expect inside okay 
Um, so those are the Valiants that I bought. Uh, and I got another small buy here um, from a seller that, you know, I bought before. Uh, but these ones are just fillers. They're, um, they're fun for me. I wanted to get some stuff. I was in the buying. I was buying these and I went to his page and he had some stuff that was towards the end and they were going extremely cheap, like very cheap. And there was some stuff that I wanted to read and get. And there's a couple of nice books in there too, like Frank Miller's uh, Batman with uh, The Death of Joker. Are not Death of Joker, uh, Robin, Death in the Family, and uh, a couple of books from year one uh, with Frank Miller. So it was nice getting those a lot. They were going ridiculously cheap. I guess it was a time when there was no one bidding on it. Um, so I ended up picking those up, okay? Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, the Valiant buys that I did. Uh, happy to get them. And the odds are uh, I'm not gonna I've hit my budget I'm definitely not gonna be buying any more uh, not too many more books uh, off eBay there's one other stuff that I'm tracking that uh, if I do get those I'll definitely show you those uh, there's a whole bunch of books but uh, we'll see what happens with those ones okay there's some golden age stuff there and I do love my golden age and uh, it'd be fun to show you guys that as well if it ends up happening okay um, anyway I hope you liked uh, and um, I guess I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Bye for now.